Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. In this episode we're having a look at this very very battered Major M120 and we'll be seeing if we can fit my pick based PLL modification into it. So let's get started. First things first, let's make sure the radio is on frequency, which it is, bang on on mid band, bang on on high band, and bang on super high. So that's a good start. So inside the radio, looks not too bad at all. As you can see we have the two crystals there. FM board. So inside the radio is not too bad, just the outside that lets it down. You can see it's had some previous work on the on the PLL chip, but that's all been corrected and put back to standard. So first things first, we'll desolder the PLL chip and remove it from the radio. But to do that, we need to get this little crystal board out of the way. And there's our PLL 02A. So just with a little bit of prying with a screwdriver and a careful little bit of persuasion, out comes a PLL chip. You see, it's a PLL 020 AG version. And 45th week of 1980 providing that is the date code so as we've done with previous modifications we use this board and we just wiggle around in the holes for a little bit just to make sure that the holes are wide enough to fit our pin headers and we're just doing a test fit make sure it fits in nicely which it does do and as always we make sure we don't lean it back too far so it doesn't touch the channel change okay should be enough room there now there it is installed and I've took the IC socket off the pick chip because it was just getting a bit too close to the crystal board Plus there's no need for the socket on the pick chip as either. And the band select goes to the pull switch on the front of the radio. Now I've already fitted a frequency compensation board to this. So fingers crossed, when we select UKFM it should be bang on frequency. So there's mid band again, and now we have high band, still on frequency. And if we flick it to the mid band position and pull this switch, we should now be on UKFM and 6016. It's as close to as it's good enough. Should be 6012, but 6016 is close enough. So that gives us a full 40 readout on this. That was easy enough to do. And as you can see, there's the frequency compensation board. Does take a little bit of work to get that working. But once it's in and working, everything's perfect. So it's as easy as that on a radio that hasn't been molested. No need for any, any cut tracks. You just need to find yourself a switch and use the switch. If you haven't got a KC shift, frequency compensation board, and everything's perfect. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.